Hey everybody, this is the Cap Smack Morning Show with Cap and Smack. Brought to you by Cap Smack, makers of Cap and Smack. You'll be happy once you got your Cap and Smack. It's time to wake up the apocalypse. Get it the fuck out of bed. In fact, you be saying to the apocalypse, get the fuck out of bed, you sick fuck. So here we are. Go through a glitch door. Oh, yeah, let me through. Safe area detected. Check out the vendor. She's got nothing new. Good to see you. I've done all my specializations of you. I've done all of my shade techies of you. This guy pretends to have new projects. Good work out there. It's really nothing new, because once you've got all your spec points, I mean, if you want to grind away at a challenging mission for some high-end gear, feel free. It's no better than the high-end gear you need get back in a while. But you spend your time the way you feel like you need to. I didn't spend much time grinding away at challenging missions for Always good to see you. little baubles of spec points because I got them all of mine from doing bounties. As soon as you figure that out, you just group up with randos. You know, bounty crazy. I was getting 20 and 30 in a couple of hours. You, be, you feel free to do you. I did me. You feel free to do you. Tier 1 didn't have a lot of spec point bounty missions. They don't want you hanging out there. World Tier 2, kind of the same. It's tough to get spec points in those world tiers. World Tier 5, spec points everywhere. Spec points are sitting around just like candy, right?
You cannot knock the furniture off the top of the building. Furniture has to stay on the building, on the top of the building. It cannot be knocked off. I decided to get her in the right angle so I could punch her in the pussy. Or as the French call it, the I used to visit my control points that are green, first thing. I pick a spot on the map and start running around. Visit a control point. Pick up that skill so you can see stuff more easily. Then just run around and pick it up. I finally got the uh, Liberty Deagle because I needed a high-end D50. It's a very rare drop, I would say 1% or less. Of superior D50s, generally better than most other handguns, sidearms.
guy was just here, so I don't think they could be much for me. But you always need electronics. Do my thing. Pick up a little skill so I can see stuff. Pick a map I haven't been in, part of the map I haven't been in recently. And away we go. She's trying to see whether or not she can piss me off so much that it just causes her to no longer be with us. Because that's always an option. Our supplies aren't looking good. Anything you can do to help would be appreciated. Human life we value. Animal life is, you know, not such a big deal. I'm constantly struggling with what's good quality of your life for her and how would we all know when it's basically time I mean there's no health care for cats one of my cats had kidney problems no health care for him had to put him down. I'm not going to spend twenty thousand dollars to take him to the one vet hospital that might be able to help him. Can't afford to do that. So I had to put him down. He was wasting away. He wasn't able to wasn't able to process without his ability to process. It detected from the control point in proximity. Another one of my cats had uh, feline cancer. He was he wasted away too. It was starting to affect his control ability to walk. And you know, if you can't can't get to the litter box, he doesn't have much of a life. She was a three shot kill. She had some nerve. I'll give her that. I might do uh, alert two checkpoints, but I don't need to do threes anymore because I'm not going to get anything from them. And the extra item is really not worth the extra time. But, you know, in distress. twos can be fun.
Hostile control point identified. I also killed some hunters and got six of the vanity masks, but they're non-functional, they're vanity masks, and I have, I have two high-end vanity masks that work better. I don't use them because they're vanity masks. What in Jeebus' name? Uh, Jeebus not part of this, man. Jeebus got nothing to do with this situation. I'm pretty sure Jeebus neither approving nor disapproving of this little activity. Guarding location nearby. It doesn't seem like Jeebus has much to say about humans killing each other, except, you know, it's kind of wrong to do it for no Hostile reason. Hostile control point detected. In the real world. Doesn't seem to mind if uh, people go to war. War doesn't seem to be a problem. All right, where's this territory control? I have to go through this checkpoint.
Cap, I'm not going down on you. Nobody's going down on you. Highly armored hostile detected. I'm in shit. Yeah, but as soon as I'm on the ropes, man, you be dead meat. You'd have to suck pretty hard to finish me off. Incoming. Incoming hostiles detected.
Chem launcher does work pretty good. Supply room access unlocked. Thanks, Agent. I do enjoy being on the ropes. Not anymore. We have to protect it. It's really the best build. Ranger is kind of novelty. It'll give you an extra ten percent, maybe. Glad you division guys didn't desert. In very limited situations, you might end up with fifty percent. Very limited. Best build is like a four, four something seven. Four nine seven, four nine ten, four, you know. Keep it down to four and you can use, you can use things like Vindictive. And I think the Chem Launcher is a status effect. And you can use Pummel. And let's see, where's the other one? Where's that measured and vindictive? I've got a schizophrenic build because I also have Surge. And the other one I was toying around with but not quite using right now is um, Optimist. I do have some Optimist on some of my stuff. If you can do On the Ropes and Optimist, or On the Ropes and Vindictive, It's actually a very strong build. If they want to come up with a gear set that would be strong, you would need to have one that would trigger on the ropes, Optimus and Vindictive. with half of the normal requirements or some shit. We're good right now. Unfortunately, they drive you into a place where you have got to have a strong build in order to play the game. And then they come out with gear sets that are just weak. And everybody looks at the gear sets and they go, alright, well, you know, I'm not going to grind for the ones you have to grind for because they're not worth it. Then in order to use them, you gotta give shit up. Now, if I need a lot of skill in a particular build, it might be worse. <laughs> Adding an ongoing directive. They took them out! Get the extra skill. Additional hostile contact. That's good for.
else, so I'm gonna drop something. Control point nearby. It's almost like the uh, the developers who are in charge of how the game works aren't the same ones that are in charge of coming up with gear sets. Two different groups. They're not talking to each other. I always like fast bullets, man. Put a little extra powder in your bullets, they'd be faster. Friendly control point detected. Thing they never figured out that they could put a little rocket fuel in their in their bullets. That'd really make them fast. Then smidge of rocket fuel, ma'am. You ever get that feeling you're being watched? Could be wrong, but I think on the ropes triggers before the explosions go off. Join us, and together we will clean up this city and America. resumed.
know, I can hit him from here, but... Resumed. Yeah, if it were me and I had come up with uh, this game the way it is, I would be doing things like uh, if you're going to drive people into a meta where they have got to have good gear, then the gear sets have to be over the top. Gear sets have to be OP. In the Division 1, Nomad was OP. If you could get a Nomad gear set, you're going to do PvE and you're probably not going to be doing a lot of time. Because all you got to do is wait. Don't even have to crouch. Don't even have to take cover. All you have to do is fucking wait to be healed. And it was more than enough. give that extra edge where you could be in some heavy firefights and do some tanking. Division 2 doesn't have a nomad. Closest you can come is patience. Then you have to take cover. No mats, you didn't have to take cover. And if you had a full set of six. Friendly control point nearby. No mats were uh, auto revive. This won't take long. I have them. We're in contact. Engaging the enemy! Throwing the javelin! Help! Looks like uh, gear set pieces drop from black tuscalodytes uh, one percent of the time. Civilians in danger.
drinking water detected. Detected. From the control point in proximity. I mean, if you want a strong gear set. All you really need is. You need Bloodsucker. If you can do a Bloodsucker on the ropes. Optimus Vindictive. Detected. Near my location. Guarded by hostiles. Patience. That would be a strong, very, very, very strong combination. That would make a great gear set, and that's pretty much what I got. Aside from trying to put explosive damage and damage to elites on stuff at the same time. Reinforcements in route. Trying to tweak my build. Pretty much got the best one in the game.
take it. That'll teach him. Yeah, I need another 15% of the damage to elites. in distress. Strain can be good, but there's better talents. So for this build, I don't need more offense, so damage to elites is going to be tough to get. Although this one does have trauma, and that can be swapped out. So I can get rid of surge, which I really don't need. Although I don't want to lose the skill powers. That's a tough build. Although I could put
put something in place of trauma. And uh, too bad you can't do two. It's got to be channel light. Agent in need of backup. Yeah, well, um... It's a tough build. Could have patience. Patience destructive is tough to find, man. I could try to throw patience on a channel light.
And I think if you're getting headshots with a shotgun, you're supposed to be killing them. Headshots with a shotgun grants 25% extra bullet damage. Dude, if you're getting headshots with a shotgun and you're not killing them, you're doing it wrong. Great to see you, Agent. Hello, Agent. Pleasure to see you. That filled my inventory. Thank you. Your pleasure was all yours. Good trading with you, Agent. something patient's hard yeah he might just be where I have to go ideal would be patient's destructive destructive anywhere. Hard hitting. If I could find a destructive, I could put it on there.
Well, I would lose hazard protection, gain a little bit of heart, a little bit of health. I'm more hard hitting, so um, I don't know. So I don't know. I guess we're going to try to figure it out. Might be more damage to elites. I didn't break anything. Still got unbreakable, which I'd rather have bloodsucker. So if I could do a bloodsucker, then it kind of messes up my current build. I could throw... Well, I really can't uh, put anything on that, because I've already done it. So, uh, yeah. Do I have another bloodsucker? That's the question. Come over here, Agent. Take a look at what I've got for you. What do I have for bloodsucker? Bloodsucker is a little rare. Bloodsucker skill. Uh, I could try a bloodsucker skill power. Oh, there's a bloodsucker skill. Is it offensive? Yeah, because I'd be uh, breaking patience. So that's not great. I could put it on Murakami. That's unstoppable force, though. Mm, it should really not be terrible. Try to pull it from there. All right. Murakami. Stopple's not bad either. Bloodsucker is a bit stronger than Unstoppable, so... Uh, <clears throat> Let's see... Pull Bloodsucker from here... So I should pick up a defensive. I do have weapons damage. I lose a little bit of protection from elites. Not worried about that. And a shitload of skill power. So that's uh I 
that's a tough one. Because that's the opposite direction. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. sure why I'm keeping these. Can't use them. Although, getting rid of Surge would be useful. Uh, let me see if I can... Of course, I can't really do that... I haven't modified it. I haven't modified it yet. So let me see if I can throw that wyvern on, and I probably don't have enough electronics. Not enough. out of time too so uh, well let's see if I remember all right keeping that not keeping that not hey agent what could I help you find Another nice addition of the game would be they if they could introduce talent fragments so that when you deconstruct a piece of gear or a weapon, you have a possibility of getting a talent fragment. If you have enough talent fragments, then you can reconstruct a new talent that you could then apply to a weapon or a gear piece, however you wish, without restrictions. Nice addition. All right, game developers, got to run. Let me check my apparel first. Fashion is very important. Capital City Police. Awesome. That's what I'll be looking forward to. All right, get a run sure to catch me live and on Twitch. You can see the address right there on the screen. And once again, this has been brought to you by Cappy Smack, makers of Cappy Smack. Be sure to get your Cappy Smack.